Hey, what's up? This is Jillpoo3, and recently I had a lot of questions about the video that I posted recently about the split screen video, so I wanted to kind of make a little uh, tutorial on how I did it, kind of help you out. Uh, now, not all videos are edited. In fact, some of my favorite ones are not, but to me it's kind of like a little hobby. Um, you learn as you go, there's a lot to it, it's kind of fun. So I got uh, Sony Vegas Pro 11, which is the new version, and I like it a lot. It's not much different than the old one I used to use. I'm very familiar with, which is uh, version 10, but it is really cool. So uh, hopefully this will help you out if you get stuck with this. Now, basically, the main reason you ever want to do this is if you have one character uh, on the screen playing two different parts at the same time. If you want to do like a like a video and video, that'll be a whole different thing. Um, but here we have a video clip of uh, myself on the same couch. Let's just watch it real quick so we know what we're talking about. There you go. Um, it's lagging a little bit, but that's alright. Um, so basically all we do is we have two layers, and if I solo this one right here, the top layer, you can see that it's just the right video. Um, and if we solo the bottom one, you can see that it is... Uh, the whole thing. And we're just going to overlay the right video on top of it. So to do that, all we do is we use the event effects right here. And we use the preset called Cookie Cutter. Um, it comes built into it. And if we go to Square, and then Cut Away All But Section, which should be set to that. Um, let me go ahead and solo it so we can see it better. Um, now each video is going to be a little bit different. To me, I wanted the line to be right here. Uh, also, very, very important, when you are filming, you want to make sure to keep your shadows to a minimum. That's real important. You also want to definitely, definitely do not move the camera at all. That will ruin everything. So keep the camera exactly in the same spot, and it'll work. Um, okay, so, like I said, it'll be a little bit different for each video. For me, it was uh, 358. But just to show you the difference, right here moves what you cut out of it, like that. So, 3, 5, 8 is what I had it. Um, you can also do this right here and move it around with that. But that's where we want it to be. Uh, the last thing you want to do, this is real important, um, so that's 2, 5, 3. Basically, if we take it all the way off, uh, let me unsolo the project. Now you can see there's a, a definite line right here, and we do not want that. That's why you always want to lastly use the feather. Um, and what this does is it kind of it kind of blends the two together, so the line is gone. So now we have no line, and it looks like two separate people sitting on the same couch. Um, it's a cool effect, so feel free to use it whenever you want. Here it is again. Uh, you can even do it with three people. I've done that before. <laughs> it gets crazy though, but it works. Um, so there we go. Hope that helped. Um, if you have any questions at all, just let me know. Um, if not, then there you go. Thanks for watching. This is Jill Poo 3, and we'll see you soon.